I'm out with Dump Man today. Fantastic. We have not had Dump Man on the show for a long time. How about long? A year. Has it been a year? Last year we did the Daddy Long Legs, I think. And that went down really well, didn't yes. it? The Daddy Long Legs in Brighton. Now, we're not anywhere near the sea. No, we're not. We're in Lewis, just on the outskirts of Lewis, at uh, either Offham or Ofham, depending on your preferred pronunciation. Yes, I've, I always I've, get pulled up, yes, however I, I say, whatever it is, I'm always corrected. So we, and now I came and did a walk here not so long ago to Old Hamsey, the church, and as you'll know, the blooming thing was shut because it only opens on a Saturday. And funnily enough, it is a Saturday, but we're not going to Old Hamsey, the church. We're starting at the chalk pit which is just north of Lewis on the A275. It is, yeah. And um, this is something we've talked about for a while. And my very first Bald Explorer had a sequence here. Um, on the top was where the Battle of Lewis took place. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. And beneath was this industrial site where the lime and chalk was extracted. Mm. And, um, and I went down in the little tunnels, which we're going to replicate a bit, but you're the expert because yeah. this is to do with uh, disused railways. Yeah, but it's so the line was opened in 1809, uh, not that long after the opening of the chalk pits. Well, they actually mined chalk here since medieval times, but uh, for our purposes, we're interested in the 1800s bit because it includes these fabulous tunnels and a funicular line to carry the chalk or the lime down to the down to the river and the canal system and uh, that ran until 1870 and there's plenty still to see as far as the tunnels go very steep very treacherous it's going to be a giggle <laughs> yeah and you're going to send me down them yes yeah you first yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it's supposed to, there's the historical significance is it's supposed to be from my point of view the first railway in sussex oh is it yeah oh yeah. right oh there you go so there you go and uh, and not steam power but run by or no, was it purely funicular? So yeah, they use the weight Gravity. of the yeah the weight yeah. of the, the, the trucks going down the hill, pull the empty ones back up. Simple it's as that. It's a clever system. Yeah, very effective. Let's have a look around the uh, the chalk pit because here this is quite wide. It's huge. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. Four lime kilns. Apparently, there's still evidence left of two, but I can't find it. You've Overgrown. Looked and looked. We have looked and looked, yeah. So, but allegedly, there's still the the bases of two of these lime kilns somewhere in this quarry. Maybe you know where they are. You can tell us. It's incredibly overgrown now. It's obviously left, and the the pub that was here, the Chalk Pit Inn, I know was sold. Um, and then it, for a while, I think it was like an Asian um, cooking place or restaurant, whatever. Um, and now it's completely deserted, but uh, just left a bit like a, a, a sort of wildlife sanctuary at the moment, which yeah. is uh, nice, to, nice to see. I don't know what the future plans are for the place. Nothing. Be good if the pub reopens, you know. Yeah, I had a meal in there once. It was quite nice. I had one. It was terrible. Different day. <laughs> different food. <laughs> um, why did it shut? When did it shut? What are we talking about? The pub or the quarry? <laughs> no, the quarry. When <laughs> the did quarry. the quarry shut? Uh, late 1800s. The the railway was supposed to have stopped in 1870, although history's a bit uh, hazy about that. Could have been earlier. Certainly not after 1870, but I think they carried on quarrying until about 1890. Oh, right. But uh, certainly gone after that. So by the 20th century, yeah. it was all over. But used for, for making lime. So they hacked out chalk, blew it out with gunpowder, popped the chalk into these lime burners and roasted it uh, before adding water. And then once they'd added the water, you end up with lime coming out of the base of the, of the hearth. And they use the lime for as you say, cement and also plaster, but also as a fertilizer. Yeah. So it went onto the barges all the way up the the Ouse Valley. Because it, it affected the acidity of the soil, didn't it? it? Made it more alkaline. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the uh, the tunnels. Yes, and the tunnels. 
That's the only reason we're here. Because really. <laughs> that's, you know, that's what people want to see. Yeah, great. Clearly seen better days, the old pub, hasn't it? Yes. I don't know when it was last open, but no, it seems to have been shut for a hell of a long time. Doesn't look very open now. <laughs> but um, it's got an interesting history. Well, it did used to be. I mean, the, the building started off as being the offices for the chalk pit. So. Oh right, it was, yeah. It was an so, office. So yeah, because you can see the age, yeah. certainly at this end. They used to. I haven't been in for many years, but there used to be documents, old accounts related to the chalk pit on the wall in the pub dating from 1893 or something like that. Ah, yeah, because so. I think when I made my very first Bald Explorer and we had a meal in there, I may have photographed some of the old pictures and then, and then used them oh. uh, in the video, uh, which showed... What I found fascinating is you see these old workmen, you know, you've got the road just here, which is why it's so noisy. You see the old workmen in there, almost um, two or three piece Yes. heavy woolen clothing whereas now it's all fluorescent jackets and yeah. hard hats and stuff they just got on with it didn't they hard, yeah the high vis was more of a sort of tweed wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> they were yeah i mean so i put my woolly jacket That's on to, to you yeah. know in honor of them yeah dress just dress for work i'd say yeah i better go and haul out some stuff now so that was where the offices were yeah. this obviously was the route in off the main road yeah um, but the funicular is just on our side here, we're opposite it basically, but it was operated by gravity. That's right. So there's a great big wheel over here. Uh, we don't know exactly where. The huge wheel which was braked and two tunnels. So a set of trucks would be loaded up and then lowered down carefully. And, and the weight of the goods going downhill would pull up the empty trucks on the other side. So no, no engine, no steam loco or anything like that. Purely gravity and way ahead of its time, you know. Amazing. Very effective. Yeah. Mm. The Victorians were notoriously good at that sort of thing. Excellent. Always the best. 22 metres long. 22 metres long? Yeah, 22 metres long. What's that in old money? 22 metres, nearly 100 foot, isn't it? Mm, 80 foot? Bit about 80 foot, I think. Something like that gradient of about one and three and a half so pretty steep why did they have tunnel oh because they had to go under the road yeah so this is the old london road the current day a275 used to be a turnpike road uh yeah just a way of crossing the road and ne negotiating the slope each one of the tunnels is is about two meters from base to crown although that's difficult to verify because they're so full of rubble these yes, days. They, yeah yeah i remember i mean we're going to go and have a scrabble in a minute but <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember when I went down before, you are really hunched. Oh, yeah. Down on your backside time, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, and two, because you need one th that sends the truck down with the lime yep. full. Yeah. The other tunnel is, at the same time, is bringing the exactly, other truck yeah. back up empty. Somebody did some research a while ago looking at old maps, and they seem fairly sure that the northern tunnel, which is the one on the left as we're looking at it, was the one that sent the the lime down oh, okay. and the empty ones came up on the right hand side on the southern tunnel and then at the bottom what happened to it then it, it just carried on towards the you got a wharf or you had a wharf so there's a canal system down there off the river ooze it's called pelbrook cut it was also known as chalk pit cut right and the yeah loaded onto and barges the... and then off to farms so very very short little railway uh fairly short yeah 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 right let's um have a look at the tunnel. Let's get in then. trouble. <laughs> I can feel it's definitely one in three, maybe more. I try not to lose the camera as I come come down because, as you say, it is quite steep. Now, funny thing is, I went down. I went down this tunnel last time, so I have not been down in the tunnel that you're in. Oh yeah, no, this one's better because the gate's open. Oh. <laughs> Dump man's already in. I'm out. I just put my finger on a thorn and I am coming 
down as well. Actually, yeah, there's more space in this tunnel than in the other one. I don't know if you, there he is down there. Look. But as he said, it, it's actually full. I mean, it's it's about a third of a meter full of just um, mud and residue. Yeah, Come on. It's, it's slid down over the years, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Here he is. Look, <laughs> you're skiing, aren't you? I'm skiing down. There we go. Look. <laughs> What do you make of it? Ah, yes, here we are. It's great. The acoustic's quite strange as well, isn't it? Isn't it's it? very sort of small. Dead, quite. Dead, exactly, dead is the word. Not, I mean, it's a t faint echo, but but very little. Yeah. Unless you, if you point down towards the ends, you get a bit of an echo. But it's, and the temperature drop. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, I know we're filming in uh, November and it's reasonably, but it's quite mild out there. Be good to uh, store beer in here, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, if the pub used it as a beer cellar. Beer cellar and cheese. Yeah, cheese too. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, behind us. That is where we came from, and we're going down. How far did you say? Twenty-two meters. Twenty-two meters on a one and three and a half. On a one and three and a half. Oh, it's nearly gone. We keep creating these mini avalanches. Yeah. yeah. We haven't found any bodies or anything nasty yet. We're probably going to leave one behind. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, yeah. They are actually listed as well. Ooh. Listed. Oh, steady. <laughs> They're listed? Yeah, listed on uh, in November 2013. Oh, only fairly recently? Yeah. And here, the other entrance. The uh, eastern entrance. Or exit, depending on. These beautiful old wrought iron gates. 1994, they're not all that old. Oh, right, okay. But um, when they're in the closed position, and if you're on the other side, you can see the date. Yeah. Can you see? 1805. Well, it's. I think it's supposed to be 1809, actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. That was when they were open, but uh, maybe they started work in 1805. Who knows? I think it only took them a year to build, actually. I think it was 1808 to 1809. Definitely it opened in 1809. So that's it. So I'm going to leave you there. <laughs> Let me out. In prison. <laughs> I could, uh, I could lock you out, actually. So we're at the bottom here, as you've just seen us climb out. It's quite um, awe-inspiring to be here because the route up is absolutely under undergrown. Undergrown? Overgrown with undergrowth. Oh, I don't know why I bother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's fascinating to be here by the, the thing with the... with. Now, you mentioned the interesting aspect of the brick behind us, which is all English bond yeah. on this great big buttressed wall. But on the other side of it isn't. That's it's it. A it's, different, a, it's a different bond. Different bond. Is it almost as if two different sets of brickies uh, were working on it? Partly that, and well, maybe done at different times. Because yeah. certainly these buttresses were added subsequently to the wall being built. Right, because the but buttresses are in Flemish bond. Yeah. Which is, that's just the way the bricks are laid. Um, so the railway would have, uh, the track would have dropped right down. Yeah. We're going to walk down, but we're going to walk round to, into Ofham or okay. Offham. Ofham or Ofham. Go down on the footpath, which would take us down to the wharf. Yeah. So all we've got to do is climb back up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, off we go. Off we go. So we're now at the bottom the, of the funicular and the tunnels, which are, you can't really see them, but they are actually behind us. They are, yeah. We had to come down, as you saw, the footpath from Ofham down by the church and all the way down along the canal. That's right. So, Which we'll have a look at in a mo. A little tributary off the, off the ooze, which yeah. they made with, with the canal. 
uh, to I think it's called Pelbrook Cut, also known as Chalk Pit Cut, uh, with a wharf specifically for offloading the chalk. Right, yeah. right in front of us. And then where would it go from there? Well, back up to the river. I mean, you can link, you get onto the River Ooze, which is also a right. navigation. So it didn't go and onto so, the railway then? Mm, it may have done as well, but yeah. not that I'm aware of. Uh, right, so mm. it was just travelled by water on the yeah. Ooze, either, either way really, it north was, and south. If you think it was gone by 1870, 1880, the railway's only just... Uh, in, in infancy. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, that makes sense then. So where we are here, there was, this is the tally house nearby. That's what they say. That's what they believe. The, uh, there's a, the base of a brick building just behind us. And uh, it supposedly was a little tally house to quantify the product, really, you know. Tallying up, yeah. as in counting, keeping well, an eye on how many I'd, loads. Unlikely to have been done by weight, but probably just truck loads, you know, yeah. um, for, sailing, for selling purposes, yeah. Yeah. And that's the the lime and the chalk, yeah. On to on on to here. It's um, it's very secluded, nice little country walk it's spot lovely. now, isn't very it? Very nice down here. Yeah. And and it closed in 1905. I keep yeah. forgetting the 18, 1890. The, the quarry was gone by 1890. But oh yeah. The funicular was probably closed a bit earlier, 1870, something like that. So we're talking over a hundred and something years. Oh yeah. Hundred and thirty odd years. Mm. Um, or 140 years, something oh, like 150. that. 150. Yeah, or 280, 360, <laughs> whatever it was. And now, you know, looking around, some of these trees do look like they're 100 years old, yeah, don't they? They've massive, shot up. Massive trees. Since being abandoned, it's just the landscape. It just shows what nature is like. It takes over every time. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, how interesting. So this is the end of the story of the first railway in, in Sussex. Sussex. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Just scrambling up the side just to see if we can get a better shot of the, the wall where we came out of the tunnel. I've um, come up a very slippery bit, didn't film there. Sorry about that. Just going to see if we can... Yeah, Duckman has taken a, a more sedate route. Here we are, just the last bit to do. Not to go right up to the tunnel, but the original plan was to do this, wasn't it? To get up to the tunnel. But the last bit really is just too overgrown. But Duckman, here we are. Here we are, intrepid explorers. <sighs> out of breath, out of condition. Two old crocs. <laughs> But behind us there, the wall, fantastic. Thank you so much for bringing me. Pleasure. <laughs> now, before we go, we should just mention that you do make your own videos. Yeah. And you sell them on, but I you do, do it differently to me because I stick mine on YouTube and basically give away the content for free. And if yes. people want to donate, please do. Um, please do, yeah. yeah. You, have to, you have to buy mine, you have to Yeah, you're more mercenary. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't sell as many as you. Uh, yeah, so it's on DVD, it's loads of local history, most in the south of England, mostly to do with railways, and uh, great fun. And great fun, and um, it's Dumpman Films, is yes, that right? Yes, Dumpman Films. I'll put the link in the description underneath, so do go and check him out. Um, they know all this anyway. They, they know all this, but there's always, you know what it's like, well, there's midges everywhere, you're I getting know, attacked like by midges like all over yeah. the place. <laughs> uh, but there's always new people watching all the time, hopefully, yeah. um, So and they need to know where yes, they, they can do. get this stuff from. Um, but it's been brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's and been it's good. been nice to revisit the tunnels because I yeah. sort of crawled down them without really knowing too much. And it's much f more fun yeah. having the, the experts. It's always good fun going down tunnels in company. Question Let is, is there, we've done a, quite a few of these videos, do yep. check them out. I should put them on a playlist actually. Um, are there any other interesting railways in Sussex, disused, abandoned railways and that sort of thing that loads. we have yet to discover? Absolutely loads, yeah. So in another year's time... Well, maybe less, you know. <laughs> we yeah, might sorry it's taking so long. That's <laughs> right. The audience, they love it. They love you in it. Keep them in suspense, you know. Yeah. I don't know when the next one will be, but it'll be something local. Yeah. Cool. Great. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Always good to see you. Thanks yes, for no, having so me along. Got to get out of these bloody yeah, midges. Bit alive. <laughs> <laughs>